Well, what's up guys? This is Daniel and Emily from Arms Family Homestead and uh, you guys saw Houston harvested his little doe yesterday. Well, it's Emily's turn mm -hmm. and uh, we're going to go out there with Houston. We were really trying hard to harvest a mature doe. I ended up letting him shoot a little smaller doe and uh, he was excited. He's happy and guess what? If it's legal to take, I don't mind a kid shooting it. So uh, we're not looking for a big buck today for Emily. If one steps out, I have a buck tag. I'm not gonna shoot just a small buck. I'm looking for a big mature deer to harvest or Emily a nice doe. And a lot of people are concerned that, oh my gosh, you got so much meat in the freezer. Why are you still doing this? You're just doing it for sport. And you're not doing it for food. Well, guess what? You're wrong. Because if Emily shoots a deer today, what are we gonna do with it? Jerky. We're gonna make jerky out of it. So it doesn't matter how much, how much pork and beef we have in the freezer. We have deer tags to fill and our family eats these things and our family shares them with other people. And uh, it takes a lot of deer meat to make much jerky. Mm -hmm. And Emily likes jerky. So we're on jerky patrol today. Yeah. Let's go. Down, Emily. We did that so fast. <laughs> I just woke up like five minutes ago. There was like 30 deer that just came out on one time. <laughs> that happened pretty dang quick, didn't it? Uh huh. They all started running. It won't go on safety while well. it's got an empty shell in it. So it's okay at the moment. We'll, we'll empty the gun in a second. Holy crap. I did it so fast that I was like slamming the gun, gun everywhere. I don't know how they didn't run away. <laughs> Banging the gun off every time? Uh -huh. They were like running from every direction. William? Yeah? I think you made a good shot. Me too. Obviously we saw our fall, so yeah. let's go check out the deer. telling you this girl don't play around you know Houston and I hunted all day yesterday and uh, her lucky streak continues yeah, I'm telling you what if anybody ever wants to go hunting and kill a deer real quick just take Emily this is my first time hunting during like this week too <laughs> Got her. I definitely did. 
<laughs> you smoked her, Emily. That's a lot bigger doe than what your brother killed last night. It is. I I shot it pretty close to the shoulder. Just a little bit high. Oh, Dad, I feel like I'm holding a dead goat. <laughs> well, Emily, as I, usual, you didn't waste any time. No. They came out, and then like five seconds later, I shot it. <laughs> it's so funny. We were just saying, yeah, there's no deer moving this morning. And Emily says, hey, there's a deer. Poof, it's done. <laughs> she ran about 20 yards. You made a perfect shot on her. Couldn't ask for anything better. Nice, big, healthy, mature doe. That's what Houston and I were looking for all day yesterday. And Emily makes it happen in about two hours. <laughs> yeah. We're going to get this girl back to the house, get her checked in, cleaned up. And I'm going to say probably this doe is mostly going to go to jerky. And Houston's little one's probably just going to be processed for, you know, hindquarters and stuff to smoke and put in the, you know, you know, in the uh, big smoker and stuff. So I'm proud of you, sis. You did good. Thank you. Perfect shot on this doe. Awesome. All right, you drag the deer back to the house. I'm going to go warm my hands up. I actually can do it. <laughs> I think we'd be better off going to get in the buggy, though. Me too. All right, so it's been a couple days since Houston and Emily shot their two does, and we've got both of the hearts out of those deer and just some water. We've had them in the refrigerator. Change the water out about two times a day, and we're going to fry these things up and make a meal that's just mm, amazing. So my wife typically does this with like stew meat or just something else that she cuts up into chunks, but uh, I'll show you what we're going to do with this deer heart. It's a really cool recipe. Super, super simple, super easy. The heart is usually uh, something that most people just leave in the gut bucket and they never cook. But the heart out of a deer or an elk or cow, whatever it is, is a very good lean cut of meat. I feel like it goes to waste a lot of times. So we're going to take these, we're going to cut them up into chunks. We'll slice it. The main thing we're going to want to do is get all of this white off. We'll cut into it, cut out all of the, the arteries, the, you know, the heart parts and just get good red meat so before we get started let me tell you what we're gonna do we're gonna take this we're gonna chunk it up cook it in a cast iron skillet and then what we'll be doing is taking some cream of mushroom soup and pouring over it after the meat is done and then i'm gonna take some long grain rice and what we'll do is we'll put the rice on the plate and then pile some of this yummy goodness on top can i tell you something i don't like this you will when this is done, you'll like it, I bet you. Trust me. Trust the process, son. Okay. Okay. See how lean that heart meat is? It's similar to liver. But trust me, it doesn't taste like liver, but it, that's kind of what it reminds you of when you're cutting it up or when you're cooking it. It's just a, a good, lean muscle. Oh, you're cutting it up into, a, into ch tiny chunks. Uh -huh. We're going to have a lot of deer heart. All All right, as you can see, I got my two deer hearts sliced and chunked up into bite-sized pieces. We're gonna go pretty basic on this. I'm not gonna season it too heavy. I'm not gonna marinate it, but I'm gonna do a little bit of Worcestershire sauce, some Everglades heat, and just some salt and pepper. So Worcestershire sauce, just because, you know, who doesn't love a little Worcestershire sauce? And, you know, in Oklahoma, we don't measure a lot, so just gonna season it to taste. I'm gonna heat my preheat my cast iron skillet up a little bit, let it get good and hot before we add that deer. I am gonna put a little bit of butter in here. Yes, we use real butter on a stick in a butter dish on our countertop. We don't buy that goofy margarine country crock stuff anymore. Do it the way grandma did. Put your butter on the countertop and let it sit. Okay, we're going to add our chopped up venison heart. 
Got our skillet preheated. Just remember, this venison doesn't have any fat. I mean, this part is a very lean muscle, so it's not going to take long to cook, and we do not want to overcook deer meat. So while our deer meat and our rice is cooking down, I wanted to show you guys something. Houston, let's see that hoodie you got on. Turn around here. Yeah, this is a this is a new one we made last night. Yeah, we just got those in, made them up last night. We don't have very many of these, and they're only in youth sizes. Right now we're just kind of testing it out, but uh, I think it looks pretty awesome with that white logo on there. It's hunting season, so get your kids a camouflage hoodie, and uh, we'll see how they sell. Like I said, we don't have a ton of them, so if, you, if you're interested in one, you better get on it quick. You can go to armsfamilyhomestead.com, check the link in the description box, but uh, we'll see how they do. We may see if we can find some adult sizes. The day that DJ ordered those, we couldn't find any in adult sizes. And just on the topic of the merch site in general, you guys know we launched our own merchandise website just a few weeks ago, or some of you know that, some of you may not. If you're interested, go check it out. We still don't have hats in yet. We're working on that as soon as possible. I promise you we're trying to get them in so that we can get them out before Christmas. I know everyone's been asking about hats for Christmas. T-shirts, we still have quite a few. Donkey Poodle Ranch T-shirts sold out like that within a couple days they were all gone we did get a bunch more in we don't have them pressed and printed and all that stuff yet we are going to be doing some donkey poodle ranch hoodies you know houston's got a hoodie I'm on here not that. it'll be they'll be gray they won't be camouflaged but just like the t-shirts but that was one of the biggest requested items so far is a donkey poodle ranch hoodie so we will have those just check the website I don't know when they'll be ready, but as soon as possible, guys, as soon as possible. So the uh, camouflage hoodies are on the website right now. You can go check those out, armsfamilyhomestead.com, and uh, get you one for your kids. And then maybe we'll see about the adults. So it looks like our deer heart is just about done. We don't want to cook it completely through just yet. We're going to add that cream of mushroom soup and then bring the heat down. So this is very similar to like a beef stroganoff which you would put that over like egg noodles or something. We're gonna do it over rice, but my wife typically does this with like stew meat and then we'll have mashed potatoes with it. So then you kind of put that over mashed potatoes, kind of similar to like a shepherd's pie or something, but I think it's gonna be really good with that rice. But uh, let's add some cream of mushroom soup real quick. Now you'll notice we could have put an onion in it, chopped up some onion and put it in there. I think that would have been fabulous, but my kids hate onions, so I'm just being nice today and leaving that off. But cooking some onion down with that, I think would have been perfect. So let's get some mushroom soup in here, cream of mushroom soup. And it'd be time to just turn the heat way down and let it cook for a little while. Probably gonna need a little bit more liquid. We may rinse that out. Add a little water to the mix just to, to thin it down. We may need two cans of cream of mushroom soup. We'll see. Because I don't know if you can tell, but I don't really follow a recipe. It's just kind of, I know what I want to do, so we're going to whip it up. But I don't think I had quite enough meat for two cans of cream of mushroom soup. All right, well, I added just a little bit of water, about a half a can of water to get it thinned down to the consistency I wanted and reduce the heat down to about a, a low, low medium. I'm probably going to cover it and let it cook like this for about, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes or so just to get that cream of mushroom soup soaked up into that, that venison heart. Well, look who made it home just in time. Yep. We were fixing to sit and eat lunch without you. Uh-uh. <laughs> so I know this one here is really excited about eating deer heart for lunch. Nope. Wrong person. I don't know that I can. Oh, yeah, yeah. I don't think I can. You're going to. I don't know. Just that. like we make our kids eat food they don't like, huh, Houston? You're talking about me eating oh, that deer meat? Mm-hmm. You're talking about me, aren't you? Oh. Isn't it with the chipotle bowls? Mmm, similar, but it's a little different than the Chipotle bowl. Hey, I think you've already tried it. Who's going first? Me. Who's going first? Me. Nope, I already Me. am. Me. What is this? Sorry. That's really good. It's, it's no big deal. We're not making a video over here. Sorry. Anything. Nope, no big deal. Just waiting on you to make your plate. I'm not making a plate. I'll try a bite. No. And then I'll I'm decide. Going. The gravy takes the flavor. Uh, we were like, what's in the food? This is the first time. 
Why don't you try with the rice? Oh, you got food all What oh in my. the world? <laughs> oh you my. You eat like a toddler. I taste similar to um, jerky. No, it don't. But it's not spicy. The flavor is fine, but I don't like the meat. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you're, you're eating with your brain, not your taste buds here. You said the flavor's not bad, but I don't like the meat. I don't like Explain the texture of us. the meat. I don't like the texture of it. It's really thick. It. It's, oh, mm -mm. I don't like it. It's a little bit. What's that face about, kids? What's she doing? What's she saying? They know what I'm saying. When you break into it, it's like hard, and then it's mushy, and then it's chewy, and then it's... Yeah. Mm. Great description. I don't even know what all it's, that means. It is like not at all close to like normal deer meat. Like it means I'm eating leftovers. That's what it means. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So uh, I don't know what all that description was all about. My wife said it tasted good. She just can't get over the fact that she knows she's eating a heart. I think that's the problem. So Emily said it's good and hard and soft and mushy and chewy and. I don't really know what all that meant, but let's try it. I think I could feed that to anybody in the world and not tell them it was a heart and they wouldn't have a clue what they were eating. Come over here, Mom. Actually, you I like a whole lot. Mm. I think it's pretty darn good myself. Yep. Yeah. Let me get a little bit. Oh, no. What were you saying? What? What'd you say? I said the flavor of that is good. The gravy or the sauce, whatever it is, and the rice, it's all really good, but I, just, I don't like the texture of the meat. It's just, so I'm gonna eat taco soup instead. Me and Amari ate taco soup here. cold one night. I'm gonna eat some Big Mac. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, we shot these deer for a reason. And yeah, I will we're eat. Joking. I will eat a lot of it, but the heart I'm not doing. You're lucky I tasted it. So there you have it. There's how we prepared a deer heart. And I actually, that's not the only way I've done it. I've also battered and fried them. Fried deer hearts are really good. Kind of a coincidence though. Frying a heart in grease that's going to affect your heart. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So both the kids have now harvested their dough. They're probably about done with deer season for the year. Would you quit shot? You're shaking my chair. They're probably about done with deer season for the year. Houston may get out there and do a little bit of hog hunting or something, but both kids got to harvest a doe and a buck this year. So great, successful hunting season for the kids. Are you happy? You satisfied? But, Our lights are flickering. Yeah, on the camera, it's probably like scary. <laughs> so like I said earlier, be sure if you're interested in a youth camouflage arms family homestead hoodie, go check them out at armsfamilyhomestead.com. Thanks for supporting us. You guys are awesome. Um, we've sold a ton of merch already, and uh, we're trying to get a lot more stuff up and going for you guys. So, what were you going to say? You got your um, mouth full, but. We have a lot more t shirts coming in soon. We've got red color, besides. Blue is the one that we've had the longest. We have blue, red. Do we have tan yet? Tan? I don't know what all mom's going to do. She's doing a ton of different stuff. Yeah, so. a ton. So, so, why don't you wrap this video up for us? Yeah. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.